to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am again in Star Trek Elite Force 2. Continuing our mission. In the last video, it was quite fun. We got to go to an ancient Idril base and learn about these exomorphs. But they're going haywire and why and how and I guess we stopped them. We destroyed the facility or the ability for them to make them, I guess. Uh, but what now? So we did that, but what's next? It says I need to talk with Clea about the Idril. So that's the first thing we'll do. Hazard crew quarters. Hazard crew quarters, huh? Somewhere on this deck. I just walk around until I find the place. Oh, the crew lounge. Didn't know there was a crew lounge. I was on the holodeck observing the Andorian flora in their natural habitat. How did you sustain this injury with the holodeck safety protocols in place? I overrode the holodeck safety protocols by Everybody's running in diagnostics mode. Everybody's always doing that. Why would you do a thing like that? Isn't Andorian <laughs> flora carnivorous? Well, yes, but... Who gave you authorization to disable those safety protocols? No one did. I didn't think it would turn out this way. You realize you could have been eaten. I'm rescheduling the rest of my appointments today as you clearly need my counseling. But what about my plans huh. in the hydroponics bay? I'll have someone take over your assignment for the next few days. I think you need some time to reflect on your actions. Wow. I love these little conversations they have. So you come in on them and you can hear their conversation. Uh, it just opens up the world, makes it feel real. Like you're really there and there's real people. Well, she's not in here. I thought she would be in this room. Apparently not. I'll find her. She's somewhere. E and S. Telsia C. Murphy. Has her team. Oh, Ensign. Has her team. Maybe she's in here, guest quarters. You may enter. Why, thank you. Then let me enter if I'm to enter. Had to ring the doorbell. Oh, hello, there she Clea. Is. Are you busy? Please come in. I'd like the company. Inagor said your research held the key to activating the machinery. How so? My research explores the relationship between people and the machinery they develop. And the ways the machinery develops people in turn. So, why did you need to manufacture exomorphs? Couldn't you prove your theory without them? Of course! If Quindo hadn't activated those terrifying creatures, we could have completed our research by now. You didn't want to create exomorphs? It was breathtaking to see them come to life. But risky. When they turned on us, I was sure we were dead. What happened? They chased us from the lab. We were safe, but we had no way to communicate with Crindo or the scientists on the surface. I was terrified, and then you were there. Hmm. Tell me, Clea, what if your research shows that the Idril did not make the ruins? Then I will publish my findings proudly. Quite the dispassionate mm. scientist. On the contrary. I'm quite passionate. Oh. I come from a world of tremendous beauty. Lush green jungles, pink coral beaches, and snowy mountains. It sounds appealing. The first time I saw Idril from space, I cried. I wish you could see my world. Oh, we got dialogue option here. Perhaps I can come with me to Stellar Cartographer. Yeah, let's do that. 
Perhaps I can. Come with me to Stellar Cartography. So I guess the choices you do make do go down different paths. If I had said no, we would have just skipped this cartography part. So that's interesting. So that lets me know maybe my decisions back at the beginning I made could have done something different if I had chosen that. Interesting. Interesting. So I like that in this game. They didn't have that in the first one. This ship is amazing. The resources are overwhelming. If I had access to this level of technology, I could have completed my work long ago. May I? Be my guest. Let's see her world. Here's my home world. Vazbadge 7 to the Atrexians. I come from a small island south of the largest continent. I haven't been back since I reached adolescence. I joined Inigor's research team when I was still in school. Why did you leave so early? There's no truth to be found in Idril's schools. They're controlled by the Atrexians. I had to leave to find real knowledge. I left home early too, but I couldn't wait to leave my planet. I had to get to the stars. Do you miss home? Well, I didn't, until I thought I'd be stuck in the Delta Quadrant for the rest of my life. Then I couldn't wait to get home. Show me your world? This is Earth. It's this one. Sol 3. I'm from an area called Vermont. What's it like? It's a rugged place. Very independent and resourceful people. Like you, Alexander. Call me Alex. I would love to see this land of Vermont, Alex. Oh, God. Lieutenant I... Monroe to are the we, bridge. Are we flirting? On my way. Clea, I'll have security escort you back to your quarters. Perhaps later you can tell me more about Earth. He is Kirk. From Stargate. <laughs> he is Kirk. I enjoyed talking to you. Yeah, we're friends. Report to the bridge. Well, that was an interesting interaction. I guess if we had skipped that option, maybe we wouldn't have had that romantic Deck conversation. Deck one bridge. But I do wonder what, what what's next. What's going to be the next mission? You know, where's the storyline headed with the Idril? I thought we shut him down. Maybe not. We'll beam the prisoners to your ship. That won't be necessary. Just release them. I beg your pardon? The killing was not their fault. Those three scientists merely stumbled on advanced technology left by an extinct and long forgotten race. Forgive my skepticism, but what makes you so sure the Idril did not build those ruins? Legends of Idril glory are fairy tales. Oh. We have extensive records of our first contact with the Idril, and they were a simple people. Then you won't mind us investigating their claims in the facility. We're going to destroy the facility before anyone else is hurt. Commander, that is a priceless archaeological site. Not to mention a breakthrough technology. I strongly recommend... It is our planet and our business. We mm, appreciate your assistance, but you cannot dictate our policy. She got a point there, The facility too. is dangerous and must be destroyed. Now please release our Idro prisoners. You cannot detain them without our authorization. We can hold them for the attack on the Dallas. That would be a mistake. Prosecuting them for being ignorant Idril would hand the Separatists a propaganda victory. Did you impound Inagor's artifacts from Vioc Theta Three? Inagor and his followers fabricated mock artifacts to look like Idril creations. If they're counterfeiters, why are they still free? Their punishment was exile from Vioc Theta Three and the destruction of their counterfeit objects. If you destroy this facility, will you call it counterfeit as well? Captain, we are reading antimatter explosions on Vioc Epsilon 5. You can release the Idril. Our dead now have justice. Destroying history is not justice. Goodbye, Captain Picard. Commander Tuvok, the Idril are free to go. Escort them to Shuttle Bay 2. Aye, sir. Yeah, it almost sounds like we're interfering a little too much. I mean, you know, sure, we helped them, but... I mean, we can't tell them what to do with the stuff Doctors, on their own world. the Atrexian Council has released you. Hmm, what are they up to? Don't be so surprised. They can't stop destiny. I'm surprised. 
and worried. You always worry about nothing. I'm kind of worried you too. You should cultivate the unwavering certainty of our ancestors. Something's definitely up. They were and... hardly unwavering. I don't know. My research says they were. Then why did it take my research to activate the facility? Enough. Thank you for your hospitality. Don't thank these barbarians. They destroyed our only proof. We didn't. My do. son, this sector is filled with proof. Oh, actually, I did destroy <laughs> it. Monroe the work destroyed the thing, I remember, Come last clear. episode. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, I petitioned the Enterprise for permission to stay on board. But why, child? I want to help the Federation study the Exomorph bodies. It's my own small way of atoning for the death we caused. I forbid it! You do not control me! Captain Picard, Dr. Clea has requested permission to stay aboard the Enterprise and assist in the investigation of the Exomorph bodies. Her skills could be quite useful. She's authorized to stay on board. Do not allow her to stay, Picard. Dr. Clea, you will be assisting the research team. Welcome to the Enterprise. Well, okay. Thank you, Captain. Picard out. You'll regret this. Crindo, you are cleared to leave. I suggest you do so immediately. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot going on here, and I'm not sure where we're headed with this. The story is deeper than I thought, but there's I don't like the fact obviously the Atrexians are like overlording over these idrils. We have finished they repairs to the warp that drive on the USS Dallas. To me. She's ready to head back to Starbase 12 for a refit. I mean, they seem perfectly intelligent. I don't know why they're... Captain, we've received a distress call from a nearby Atrexian colony. Atrexian colony. The colony is in the Taravar system. We're going to protect the Atrexians. From what? That's what I intend to find out. More exomorphs? We have <sighs> developed a new weapon. We shall have time for a demonstration before we arrive. Oh, Come like over to the armory as soon as you can. Yeah, I like new weapons. I'm curious where this is Deck headed. Decade armory. I mean, what? The storyline is just, it's getting deeper. Something's going on. I don't know what. We'll just move forward and see what happens. Meet in the armory, because I definitely do want to get a new weapon. That is the transporter room. That's the brig. I think I probably went the wrong way. Armory. What do you have for me? I've made some improvements on the Federation issue grenade launcher. Oh. I've loaded a holo program to test it. If you like it, then we can use it on the mission. Okay, I got a grenade launcher. That's interesting. Yeah, we used that in the last game. So let's try this out. Oh, I love the uh, the display on it. That's really cool looking. Hi. What is this? there is no secondary fire. I was looking for secondary fire. No, there's no secondary fire. The range on it is not. All right. Almost as good as a Klingon. Yeah, the range on it is not that great. And it has no secondary fire, but cool. We'll add it to the arsenal anyway. So the Atrexian again, we're gonna help them. But from now what? entering the Taravar system. From what Shields is up. the question? Taravar 7 dead ahead. Take us in. Aye, sir. No ships in the area. Scanners detect exomorphs. Yeah. They're exomorphs. swarming Taravar 7. Maintain a high orbit. Keep us outside the range of their propulsion systems. Aye, sir. Yeah, Hail the, them. No response. The, ex the planetary the, uh, defensive grid has been knocked offline. 
Superficial damage to their power converters. Monroe, assemble your team. I want you to restore that grid and... Captain! Multiple ships warping in. Three Idril ships. Ooh. Interesting timing. Hail them. Greetings, Captain. We are here to provide assistance to the Atrexians. What kind of assistance? Each of our ships have a small security contingent. We would be honored to put them under your command to assist the Atrexians. They will take orders from Lieutenant Monroe. Of course, Captain. Monroe, prepare your team to beam down and keep an eye on the Idril. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I got questions. I was going to say the grenade launcher will be good with like large groups of the exomorphs. You can take them out with one shot. It's good for um, area of effect. We are ready to transport. Lowering shields for transport. Oh, they're firing on the Enterprise? What? Why? Why do the Idril want to attack us? They were waiting until we had our shields down. That's why the transport. Get the shields up, get the shields up, come on. Report. Engines offline. Weapon systems offline. The three Idril ships hit us when we lowered shields. Yeah, they waited till we lowered we are shields. Being hailed. On screen. When we last met, you took away my most precious possession. Now I take away yours. Prepare to be boarded. Really? Lieutenant Monroe. Yes, sir. Report to the bridge. And bring me a rifle. <laughs> Don't they have rifles on the bridge? Seriously, there's no weapons on the bridge. The transporters are down, along with the turbolifts. I've got Idril beam-in signatures appearing all over the ship. To all hazard team members, emergency deploy. Fight off the Idril invaders. <sighs> I'm requesting assistance in the main cargo bay. Federation, stop him! They have, like, him. shields. They have, like, shield stuff. I can see how the grenades could be useful here, because I could get them around their shields and use behind them. That could be interesting. Why are the Idril attacking us? But, I'm going to tell you this. I love the fact that we get to have a battle on the Enterprise. I have been wanting that. To walk, to go through the ship. Okay, it's sealed up. Mm -hmm. Security over here, Monroe. Federation, stop him! You'll die! You'll die! Wow. There's another one. You'll die. Ooh. All right, I need a recharge. These rebels show misplaced courage. 
An attack upon the Enterprise is foolish. We will show these Kaktau the error of their ways. Rerouting power to security systems. Get it all? I guess I got it all. System lockdown initialized. Thank you for the assistance. Majka Monroe. Security breach in main engineering. Security breach in main sick bay. Monroe, if you're still on deck eight, I need help in sick bay. We're getting overrun. All right. Unauthorized sick bay. access in turbo lift eight A. Oh boy. Don't fall to my death. Yeah! Well, I just went through the fire. Ship is falling apart from the inside. It's this way. Nothing. Oh, okay. I guess we're going this way. Lieutenant Monroe, assist with the defense of this corridor. Okay, fine. Yeah, where's that grenade launcher? Well, that didn't go far. Yeah, it's hard to get that to go to get that to go far. Well done, Lieutenant. Reinforce Jarat's team in sick bay. I like. Which one do I like? I like. I like this one. I like the way it fires. I got a secret item. Let's charge up. Meet with Gerard and give assistance. Going this way. <gasps> Through the Jeffrey tubes on this one. It's a Jeffrey tube mission. Guess we can't go through those. Hurry, Monroe. I don't know how Over long there. we can hold out. Federation, stop him! Security breach on breach yeah. Cover me. Uh, security uh, protocol uh, card alpha three. Encrypting primary and secondary security. That was close. Monroe, they're in engineering. On my way. You can get to engineering via this Jeffrey's tube access. Go. Let me charge up. Ah, I'm stuck. It'd be cool if we called the EMH. Like you used him to help us. Would you like a nice analgesic cream? All right. This is fun. So 
So we need to get to uh, engineering. Those look prime for exploding. Come over this way. I have a present for you. Down. Okay. It's a big door. You know, I might need to use my tricorder to see if anything is breakable. Outside the warp core levels. is overheating everyone out. Monroe, over here. Okay, what do we got to do? I, I think we got to save the warp core. Well, that's no good. Monroe, repel the intro before the warp core goes critical. before the warp core goes critical. What do you think I'm doing? Save the warp core, save the warp core. We can do it, we can Is do it. Is the warp it. core stabilized? Not yet. Use your tricorder on the energy distribution panel to help me bleed energy away from the core. Where would that be? Hurry, or we're all dead. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. This is a mess. Okay, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're going to die. Because it's gonna take me forever to do this. I gotta get the blue all the way down to there. Heck no. Warp core temperature at critical levels. Yeah, well, it's gonna take me forever to get this done. So the warp core can just wait. <laughs> Crap. Warp core explosion imminent. Well, I can't do this any faster because I suck at these, so. Okay, is everything isolated? Detonation in five, four, three. We have two, to eject the core. One. Monroe, the access code to eject the core is nine four five nine one two. I think I failed. 
I think I failed. I'll have to do that entire thing over again. Oh. Alright, I'll have to make a save game place next time, because that sucks. Okay, here we go again. Over there! Warp core temperature outside the normal The warp core levels. is overheating everyone out. Monroe, over here. approaching critical levels. Is the warp core stabilized? Not yet. Use your tricorder on the energy distribution panel to help me bleed energy away from the core. Okay, I'm going to save it right here in case I fail this again. I don't want to have to complete that other part of it. Take everything off of that. Did I do it? Yes. We did it. Monroe, I'm on the bridge. The captain's okay, but we're under attack. We need you. Then power up the bridge turbo lift. I'm on it. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Got it the second time, though. I need a health. Where's a health? I see that, but I don't see health. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, get to the bridge and give assistance. Uh, that was pretty rough. But I finally got it. Where is the turbo lift, by the way? Monroe, where are you? We need you on the bridge. Yeah, I'm trying to find the turbo lift. Can't for the life of me find the turbo lift. There it is. Bridge. Thank you, Lieutenant. I had to throw him a phaser. Really? There's no weapons on the bridge. Watch out! Well done. Nice. 
That worked. We saved Picard. At least we didn't let Picard die. May have blew up the ship the first time, but the we invaders saved Picard. have been repelled. I am initiating a dampening field to repulse any additional direct frequency transporter attempts. We are being hailed. On screen. Surrender your ship. It looks like your invasion did not go as well as you'd hoped. Your ship is crippled. Your weapons are non-functional. There's no way out, Picard. Let's discuss it. And give Let's you time to repair your it. weapon systems? I like Do it. you take me for a fool? Turn your ship over to me, Picard, and I'll offload you and your crew on the nearest hospitable planet. I would sooner destroy this ship. <laughs> You're bluffing. But in case you aren't... Captain, several small idril vessels have landed on our ventral hull. What are they doing? Warning. Unauthorized access detected. The idril are accessing our computer system directly from the hull. Self-destruct systems have been disabled. They are attempting to reroute command protocols and gain control of the Enterprise. Reverse ventral hull polarity. See if we can shake them loose. Negative. They have locked hull polarity in their area. I have polarized the outer saucer ring, which will prevent them from progressing any further. But I have no way of removing the idril invaders. Lieutenant Monroe, report to the Enterprise hull and repel the idril invaders. Whoa. Do not let them reroute the command protocols. Aye, sir. Are we going to go outside the ship? Because that's cool. Wow. Okay, I like it. We get to go outside the ship. On the hull? This is cool. Yeah, we're doing all the things I've wanted to do. <laughs> yes, we are. We're going out. This is really, really neat. Upside down on the bottom of the Enterprise. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Oh, I go up. That makes sense. That was cool and explosive. Okay, I'm in space. Come back Our down. Our weapons cannot penetrate their shielding. Come back you down. Must Come gain back down. a more advantageous firing position by making control jumps with your Evo suit thrusters. is of the essence. The Idril must not gain control of the Enterprise. Uh, how do I get rid of it? The Idril have breached our level 3 security protocols. You must hurry. What does it hurry. say to do? Clear whole of... Oh, just clear the whole of the saboteurs? Uh, okay. I thought I had to uh, actually also destroy those things. I see, okay. I, I thought I had to actually destroy the things also. But I guess I just destroy the people, the Idril. And uh, time is running out. What did I just do? Did I just find a new mode? Bypassed our level one security protocols. They must be stopped now. I found some kind of new weapon.
It is a sniper. It's a sniper. Where did I get this? Dang, come back down. Did I succeed or did we fail? I think we failed. I'm in the brig. How did I get in the brig? Oh, they took over the ship. Alright, I gotta do that faster. Where did I get that sniper? Uh, I, some, somehow, some way, I got this sniper gun thing out of nowhere. Where did I pick that up at? Oh no. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain Ouch. the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Our weapons cannot penetrate their shielding. You must gain a more advantageous firing position by making control jumps with your Evo suit thrusters. Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. The intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. the other ones the idril have breached our level 3 security protocols you must hurry I don't really like this sniper rifle I didn't really, I don't really want this, but I can't choose anything else. For some reason, it switches right over to that, and you can't choose anything else. I've already been to these crap. See, I'm, I'm going to one. The Idril have bypassed our level one security protocols. They must be stopped now. I am trying to find them all. I see that one, that one. All right, it's gonna happen again. Crud. I think next time I'll try going in a more like circular fashion around. I keep going back and forth because I'm not sure where I really need to be going. It looks like I got them all though. I'm not sure. Looked like I got them all. I'm gonna listen to Tuvok again. Maybe I need to actually disable those things, but I did try and it didn't do them. I floated off into space. All right, I'm gonna listen to Tuvok this time. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. He doesn't tell how to stop them. He just says, stop them. Our okay. weapons cannot penetrate their shielding. You must gain a more advantageous firing position by making control jumps with your Evo suit thrusters. Yeah. Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. 
The Idril must not gain control of the Enterprise. Yeah, the Idril have breached our level three security protocols. These. You must hurry. I got these two. I got them. So then, where are the other ones that I'm supposed to get? Dang, I don't like this. Okay, where are the other ones then? I got all of those. I don't see any others. Oh, I died again. I got all of them. I don't understand why I'm what I'm missing. I don't see any others. I got all three of those. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Am I supposed to, like, do something with this? Oh, I do need to modulate this. Monroe, time is of the essence. The intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. Okay, so I do need to modulate that. I thought die. I thought that I had checked it the first time and it didn't do anything. I get down. Get down. Get down. He ain't going down. Go to the floor. Yeah, oh, that was difficult. I don't like the sniper. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I don't like it. For, I, I was much more better with the other weapon. The intro have bypassed our level one security protocols. They must be stopped now. Federation, stop him! Okay, again, I'm floating way too high. Darn it, I'm gonna fail again. Okay, well at least I know what to do this time. controlling the jets like when I'm floating right above it like I was just now hovering above it it won't let me control it and put it down to the ground to the ship I can't fly down I can't I can't get it where I want to go 
And so I'm just, I'm, I'm wasting time. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. And then it gives me it that... It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. It gives me In this... In order to contain the invaders, more. I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Gives me the stupid sniper rifle and I don't want it. Federation, stop him! Our weapons cannot penetrate their shielding. You must yeah. gain a more advantageous firing position by making control jumps with your Evo suit thrusters. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Lieutenant Monroe, like, right, time on. is of the essence. I'm the trying. Intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. I'm trying to get down. Oh, come on, come on. I had it. I was in there. Get me in, get me in. See, this is what I'm talking about. How do I get down? This is wasting me time right here. The Idril have breached our level 3 security protocols. You must hurry. No. Look, I see I took it jumped again. It jumped. It stopped doing that. You stupid thing. You're wasting time. It's wasting time. Why? 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 Go down. Go down. Down. Go down. 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 Go down. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. I'm going to... I'm... It won't go down. Go down! Well, I'm gonna fail this, because it, it won't do what I want it to do. Look, I can't go down. Go down. Thank you. Doesn't matter, though. The I'm gonna fail this one again. Our level one security protocols. Look, they not must even... Be stopped now. It wasn't even modulating. This is the most frustrating thing right here. Well, it's gonna fail. I'm just gonna let it fail. Here, let's shoot the deflector dish. Why is this one so hard? Out of everything else, why is this one so hard? It's the maneuvering. If I could just maneuver to where I'm supposed to be easily, it'll work. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idro are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. The intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bob? You'll die! The Idro have breached our level 3 security protocols. You must hurry. Seriously. If I just fall, can I fall, not fall?
Idril have bypassed our level one security protocols. They must be stopped now. Look how close I am to this. I could do it if I could just fall down in there. It ain't gonna work. I failed again. I was close this time, but why won't it let, just let me in there? Why can't I? I can't navigate. This is this is stupid. This is stupid. At this point, at this point, I, it's ridiculous. I'm going crazy. I'm literally going crazy here. Lieutenant Monroe, the Idro are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach in this area. The hardest part is not taking them out. The hardest part is trying to get inside here. Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. The Idril must not gain control of the Enterprise. have breached our level 3 security protocols. You must hurry. Come on, come on, one more. I wish the timer would it's like slow down when you get two of them like that. I wish it would slow down, but it don't slow down. Past our level again. one security protocols. They must be stopped now. Federation, stop him! You have to be kidding me. Get me down, down. It, it, I'm, I'm, ah. I am frustrated as I'll get out right now. It won't, it won't thrust her down. It won't thrust her in. It won't do what I need it to do to get in the right position. Ah. Why is this so hard? Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach Ooh. this area. All 
right, how do I get down? Lieutenant Monroe, time is of the essence. The intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. Get me in. Get, 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 get. Uh, have I, give up. Level I give up. Security I give up. I give up. You must hurry. I give up. I'm gonna. I give up. It's time to just throw throw it all to the wind. I've given up on life. I've had enough. Polarize me. This is ridiculous. Why don't they like give me some backup? Why am I all by myself? Give me a team, you know? Where's my team? Why do I have to do everything by myself? Lieutenant Monroe, the Idril are accessing the ship's computer from multiple locations. Die. It is imperative that you stop them before they accomplish their goal. In order to contain the invaders, I have reversed polarity on the outer area of the hull. Do not approach this area. Yeah. The intro must not gain control of the Enterprise. It's their weapons are repelling me. Level 3 security protocol. You must hurry. Their weapons repel me. If only I had to do two, I would be successful. You'll die! The intro have bypassed our level one security protocols. They must be stopped now. Our oh, systems wow. are still offline. We have enough power to activate the auxiliary pulse phaser batteries, but you will have to operate them manually. What? Oh. I like that. That was I that was difficult. That was one of the more difficult things I had to do. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. We've been hit. Shields at 
by 10%. Destroy the ship. Crap. Well, I think we just destroyed the ship. Crap. All right. Well, this one's kind of tough. Oh, I have a secondary fire. Okay, cool. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. I destroyed the capital ship. I'm not supposed to destroy it. I'm supposed to disable it. Oh, that's cr that's a hard line to cross. That's a fine line we have to toll here. Crap. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. Okay, we're about to explode. Shields down! A direct hit will destroy the ship. Shoot. I don't know what considers the capital ship to be disabled. At what point of damage is it considered disabled? I don't know that. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel.
we're taking more damage than the capital ship, so that's not a good thing. just as hard as the last thing was. Why are they giving us... This is like difficult. Alright. I really need to focus on the big explosions. The ones that are like coming from the capital ship. The big orange glowy ones because they do a lot of damage. So I'm going to try focusing on those. The purple ones and then the big glowy ones. Weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. Yeah, the big glowy ones are bad news. Missed that one. Shields at sixty five per cent. Crap, I destroyed the ship again. See, I don't know where the point is to stop shooting at it, I guess. Right before it dies? I don't know. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel.
I blew it up. Another hit. Shields at forty-two percent. See, I was close to. I I had it down to like minimal health, but then it's like just one shot too many. It just takes one shot too many to blow it up. So, at what point do you stop blowing it up? I don't know. weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. I think I see what I'm supposed to do now. So there's these points on there.
there's these like uh, points on there, these bullseye points, I guess we're supposed to hit and knock out on it. I keep aiming for them every time, but I guess I'm not getting a good shot on them. Lieutenant Monroe, disable the cruiser's weapons, engines, and warp drive without destroying the vessel. That. So that front, that front bit, I need to get. Yeah, the little bits that come by, I need to hit the uh, bullseye, which I have been aiming for, but it hasn't been working. Shoot! I wasn't watching. I am aiming for, I am aiming for those points on the ship. I mean, I'm aiming for that bullseye. It's just not working. I'm aiming right at it. Got the front one now, I think. Shoot. But while I'm doing it, I also have to watch out for those big orange torpedo blasts. Those do a ton of damage and that is difficult. Okay, I'm closer this time. I got two. I got two of the spots done. I got two of the spots. I just have one more. All right, I got to be real careful. I got no shields left on the Enterprise here. Did I do it? Oh my gosh, I finally did it. Wow, that was a difficult one. I get it now. Nicely done, Lieutenant. Wow. Assemble your team and protect the Atrexian colony on Taravar 7. Oh my gosh, that was difficult, all of that. All of that was difficult. That, those last two things there on the whole of the Enterprise, the most difficult thing I've had to do in this game so far. The most difficult thing. Wow. That was pretty intense, not gonna lie. Didn't know if I was actually gonna succeed on either one. It took so many tries. I mean, so many tries. Lieutenant Monroe, your team is to assist the colonist in any way possible. Love the look of that shuttle, by the way. Stay close, Sydney. We may need a quick escape. You got it. I got it. I got it. the Trexian life signs ahead. Let's go. Wait. There are also Exomorph life signs. Then let's definitely go. All right, guys. I got to call it for today. That's been a rough video there for me. Those two last things I just... Those two last things I just did were just really rough for me. I mean, it took a lot of tries to get those done. The uh, first one, at first I thought, okay, yes, I have to destroy the things inside the shields. So I was trying to blow them up with my weapons naturally. You would think maybe that would do it, right? In the real world, sure, that would work. But no comes out you actually have to modulate them with your tricorder so you have to get down in there and modulate them 
So it's complex. First you have to take out the enemy. Then you have to navigate with the thrusters, which is extremely hard to navigate. Couldn't figure out how to do that properly. <laughs> and then to get down in there and then modulate it and to do that on all three of them. It was very difficult, as you saw. The navigation with the thrusters was just, I mean, it just wasn't working. Like I was floating in space, obviously. It just, why it wasn't falling down into there. And their weapons also repelled you away from there. So that pushed you up even farther into the ether. So you were just floating in space. So navigating down into those after you're taking out the enemy is very hard. Then for some reason it switches to a sniper rifle, which makes things even more difficult. And that was that was rough. That was rough. But finally I figured I, f I got it done and I do not want to repeat that ever again. Then the second one, at first I thought you had to blow the whole ship up or just shoot it and it would disable. Shoot it enough or shoot it all the way till the bar gets down and the health gets down and then it would be disabled. I thought, oh, okay. But no, you can actually end up destroying it, which fails the mission. And then I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe if I kill it enough all the way down to the end of its health and just leave it there, that will be, that would work. I mean, that makes sense. But then, of course, that did nothing and one extra shot could kill it and you don't know where to stop at the, at, when you're, when you have it that low of health. So that didn't work. And then I figured out, oh, these bullseye things. I was shooting at them before. I was aiming at them. I thought, oh, this is where you're supposed to hit the ship so that you can, you know, disable it, which I was correct. I just didn't know that it would, like, change. It would, like, actually blow up and, and have a different graphic and show you that you've made damage in that area. So you're supposed to shoot it in that area until you destroy that area. And there's three areas. So I got it finally at the end, and then uh, it was the secondary fire on those phasers that did it. It was the secondary fire. So that's you, ha you had to kind of aim ahead of it, and that was the trick. Because it's a moving ship, when you fire, by the time your weapon hits it, it's too late. It's, it's moved past it. You need to actually aim ahead of the target and shoot at it. That is what I found to be successful, but it took several tries, several tries. That was some of the hardest stuff there uh, in the game so far. So this is going to be an extra long video just because it took me so long to get that done. But I'm, I'm glad I have finally got that part finished and now we're going to help the Atrexians on this planet or on this colony. But we're going to do that in the next video because this one took long enough and I enjoyed fighting on the Enterprise. That was a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. Uh, but on the whole, which was interesting and fun being on the whole, it was some of the hardest gameplay in this game so far for me. For me. So there you go. Um, anyway, I'm looking forward to continuing this, just not right this second. Uh, I'm going to pause because I need a break after all that. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing and giving the video a like. And we'll continue here helping the Atrexians in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.